UT Permian Basin nursing students will soon get more hands-on experience in their field by performing clinical hours at the Ector County Detention Center. Big 2's Jocelyn Person joins us live with that story. Jocelyn. Katie, this will be an exciting opportunity for students to have real-life experience in their field. When we told our students that it was coming, they were so excited. They said, oh my gosh, we've never been able to do anything like that. You don't know what you love in nursing unless you get to experience it. UTPB nurses will head into the new year with a bang by doing something different in their program. The medical treatment within a correctional facility is incredibly different than you would experience at a local hospital, for example. They have a lot of rules and regulations, and so I think it'll be a great learning experience for the students to really understand how do you deliver compassionate, safe care to patients while they are incarcerated. The nursing program requires 22 students to complete 90 hours of hands-on experience. They'll be treating everything from colds to broken bones. Not only will it uh, help those individuals, it will help us also to have a little, a little extra help uh, at times at no cost to us, and, and it might also be a nice recruiting tool. Uh, maybe some of those nurses will decide to uh, be employed by the Etter County Sheriff's Office and, and, uh, and uh, fill some vacancies we have here. Griffiths and Ruiz say this will give the opportunity to students to learn more about the community. Uh, I, I think there's a shortage of nurses here in Hector County, uh, and, uh, and I think it's great that we can collaborate with uh, other uh, agencies, other uh, uh, educational, uh, you know, uh, colleges, universities. I think it's great that we collaborate with those and, and, you know, we're all here just to make our community better. Our responsibility as a college of nursing is to provide these learning experiences to our students so that they can be excited about what they're doing in the future and really start to explore other paths. Students are expected to begin their clinical hours in January at the Ector County Detention Center. Reporting live in Odessa, Jocelyn Person, Big Two News.